Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, this is Rhonda with Dandy Finds, and I haven't made a video in a while, so I just thought I'd touch base and um, just share a little bit of what's on my brain. Um, when my children were little, uh, we had we would read a book or we would tell a bedtime story. And a lot of times to tell them a bedtime story, I would ask them to give me a person, place, and thing. And then I would craft a story around whatever it was they told me. Uh, and always with a, um, a moral of the story ending. So anyway, today I thought I would take that concept and just talk about a couple of things that are on my brain. So today we're going to talk about a person, a place, and a thing. First of all is the person. And this video is in memory of Mrs. Irene Shope Anderson. Ms. Anderson uh, was 97 years old, and she passed away on February the 10th, which happened to be my mother's birthday. Uh, mother would have been 98 that day. And so um, Ms. Anderson was just one of those people that you felt honored to know. There are not that, I mean, there's a short list of people like that, and she was definitely one of them. You know, I, through the years, I've known Ms. Anderson many, many years, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time with her. She was always at my brother and his wife's celebrations, you know, summer cookouts and birthdays and Christmases and things like that. But one of the things I loved about Miss Anderson was her sense of humor. Now, she was just that person that always loved to laugh. And her daughter, my sister-in-law, Wanda, is exactly the same way. And I love that about them. Um, at her funeral, they, uh, her son-in-law told a, a very cute story about them taking Miss Anderson and his mother to the beach and they were sitting on the balcony and they were watching the people down on the beach. And um, this lady said to Miss Anderson, look, look at there, look at that one. We could, uh, he might be a good catch. And it was a, an older gentleman that was uh, walking on the beach with a walker. And Miss Anderson just looked over and said, well, why would I want somebody worse off than me? And that just kind of struck me as so funny. And um, she loved that. But the one thing that if you knew Ms. Anderson or even knew of her, that you knew above everything else was her faith, her faith in God. Uh, she was definitely a prayer warrior. Um, and she attended church regardless. And, you know, we, we can all learn something from Ms. Anderson and her faithfulness, I think. You know, faithfulness is hard. It's not an easy thing to be faithful to something f all your life until you the, the day you die. And if you can say that about somebody, that's pretty special. And Ms. Anderson was that special person. So she's my person of the day. And now I'm going to move on to a place. As you all know, I love thrifting. I love estate sales. I just love poking around in places where there are things to be had for cheap. And I was watching a video today, and I have known about boot sales for a long time. But this girl actually took us along on one, and I thought it was really fun. And she was in London. And in London, what happens is it's kind of like a flea market. They drive their cars in and they open the boot, which is the trunk, and they have miscellaneous things in there, flea market stuff or family treasures or just anything. And from the boot, they'll put out a little table and they'll put their wares out and people can go buy them. And I thought, you know, we really don't have that in the United States. There are, um, there are flea markets and there are outside flea markets where, uh, People put their own wares out, but you don't see a lot of people gathering in a car with just a bunch of stuff in their truck trunk and just opening it and having people go through it. And I, 
hey, technical difficulties, and we're just going to keep on rolling. Because this is a real life. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be so fun to have a lot of people just throw stuff in their trunk, gather at a large, in, a large place, and just open the trunk and let everybody have fun seeing what everybody else has. So if anybody can um, move on that idea, I would be happy to attend because that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Now I'm going to get to the thing. And the thing today is, is daffodils, or daffodils, I should say. Um, this has been a relatively light winter. We've not had a lot of nasty weather yet. Of course, it's just, you know, it's the middle of February, and things can always happen in February, March, and April. Um, but we had a really pretty day yesterday for Miss Anderson's funeral. It was, it was beautiful. It was warm. And um, other people's daffodils have been blooming. They've been posting it on Facebook. But mine only arrived yesterday. And I went out yesterday for my walk with Max. And they were budded. And so I took a little snap picture. I'll post it on Instagram later. Um, but it was just barely budding. And then when we got home from the funeral, I noticed that the whole thing was open. And you know, it just made me feel happy. Number one, daffodils are just happy flowers anyway, uh, on their own because they're so beautiful. Simple, but beautiful. The color is uh, special to me because in my family, we paint our kitchens yellow. And that's always been a, a comfort to me to have a yellow kitchen. And the other thing that's special about a daffodil, of course, is that it is really the first little um, beginning of spring. And we know that we have some bad weather yet, but just that one little thing that, that warns us or announces that spring is around the corner, that's something to feel good about. And so I'll end on that today. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon.